Good morning, guys. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the Bitcoin family. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. It's a pleasure to have you over here, guys. Yes, I am the guy that three years ago sold everything he had, his house, his companies, his cars. The kids sold their toys, the wife sold her shoes and everything else. We went all into Bitcoin and from that point started traveling the world with a camper van. Now, three years later, we are still traveling the world. We are still all in crypto supporting this industry 24 seven. Now coming to you guys from Thailand, Koh Phangan, this beautiful beach in Chalaklam. Today, I'm going to ask you a very, very, very important question. I'm asking you guys for help, help, please help. And watch the first couple of minutes of the video to understand why I am asking for help. And it's very important. It's urgent. It is really urgent, guys. And after watching these first couple of very important minutes of the video, guys, of course, I appreciate that so much. And I will show you this amazing chart that is showing us that the bull run has already started. It's a chart I didn't show you before. It is a chart that was even surprising to me, so you will like it. Also, guys, going to talk about TikTok and why they pushed the dog coin up, and also talking to you guys about this new project that now makes it possible for you to send Bitcoin using Twitter. Enjoy today's video, guys. Let's take a jump into my office. Whoa. Yes, guys, this is how I open every morning. Good morning. But to be very honest, guys, it is not a good morning for everybody on this island. Since this COVID crisis, this island is in pain. Because of COVID, many hotels needed to shut down. Many restaurants needed to shut down. Many local bars and local stores needed to shut down because there are no tourists anymore. And yes, this is really bad for all the restaurant holders and for all the hotel owners, but it's also bad for all the people that lost their jobs. You might not know, but there are many people from Myanmar, Burma, that are working here in the tourist industry, and they're all without a job at the moment. They don't make that amount of money that they can save for bad situations. They make money just to live every day. And now in the last couple of months, these people didn't work anymore. They didn't have any job. They didn't have any money. So they didn't have any food. And of course I get up every morning and, and happily say good morning. But I also realize how much in pain these people are. That's why we have been helping them, of course, the last couple of months financially by doing some donations here and there. But there is still a lot of pain and a lot of lack of food, guys. So yesterday evening, I sat together with some people of Happy Food here on Thailand. Happy Food is doing an amazing job. They are accepting donations and these donations are used to buy food and they divide this food among all these poor people. I can show you some pictures of the last food distributions they did. More than 200,000 rice meals were already distributed by Happy Food here on Kopangan only. You have a few stations in the north, in the south, in the east and west. And from there, the food is, is being distributed to all the people. And it's, it's just painful to see that these people are all standing in lines, huge lines, and they need to wait for their food. They are not complaining. They are not even, you know, mad or nothing. They just respectfully wait for their turn to pick their bowl of rice or maybe a little bit more when they are pregnant or when they are disabled or when there is elderly people. It hurts me every time again to see this. And yes, of course, I can switch the not, I can switch the and yes, of course, I can switch off my emotions by just doing the things I love and by taking uh, and taking care of my family, but I also want to take care of these people. It's just sad to see these pregnant women with little children, these elderly people, these disabled people, they cannot provide for themselves at the moment. They need our help. And that is why thousands of people worldwide already supported Happy Food. They distributed over 200,000 meals in Kopangan at the moment. That's huge. That's, that's, and they are still in need because the hotels are still closed. There are still no tourists. There are no jobs. These people still need food. So as a family, we decided to set up some donation wallets on our website, thebitcoinfamily.com. And we want to ask you guys to please, if you have a little bit left, 
do a donation you can now do these donations in crypto i will i will exchange this crypto into thai baht and i will donate this to happy food of course happy food has a gofundme page guys but i know that i'm also always addressing the crypto community so i set up these cryptocurrency wallets donation wallets on my websites you can see what is happening what is going in and what is going out so if you want to support these people here with bitcoin litecoin ethereum dash um, you can do a donation on our website in these into these wallets i will make sure that these cryptos will be exchanged into thai bad and then will be given to happy food here in thailand <music> And yes, of course, we as a family are going to do another donation as, as well. Um, we did start to monetize our YouTube channel. It is no, not that much money at the moment. And we are still not able to even uh, collect the money because we need to do some, I don't know, KYC or something. And we are now in the middle of this uh, process. But I can see that our balance is growing over there. So we are going to use a part of this balance as well to support them and providing food for all these poor people now here on the island. There is no other way for them to survive and they can only depend on us because they don't have money to leave the island. They still need to pay rent and they still need to feed their families and they still need to feed their own mouth. So we can help them. I want to ask all my followers, if you have $1 or $2 or $5 or even $10 in crypto left and you want to support these people, then please donate into the wallets I created on our website. I will create, I will also list the donation wallet addresses below this video in the first comment. I will pin the comment so that you can copy these addresses and donate just a little bit, only a little bit to these addresses so we can here exchange them to Tibet and give them to these people that really are in need at the moment. Just check the pictures guys that I'm showing you now. It's all people, it's all real people standing in lines for food. And it is not only the Myanmar people guys, it's also the Thai people. Also the Thai people, their jobs, their local restaurants, their local stores, they are not making any revenue at the moment. There is no tourism. I am here, a few other families are here, but that is not comparable to the thousands of tourists they normally have in these seasons. Let's help them as the Bitcoin family, the big Bitcoin family, and show them the power of cryptocurrency. Show them how easy it is to donate cryptocurrencies and how easy it is here to exchange these cryptocurrencies into Thai Baht and into food for all these people on the island that are now are in need. So I just want to ask you to do a small donation. And if not, it's also okay, guys. I don't want to force you in doing donations. I'm just very politely asking you to do a small donation so I can help these people. We as a family, as I already said, are going to donate as well. I hope we can collect some more donations that we can do a bigger donation and so we can show them that the crypto community really cares for other people as well and not only for the profits. And guys, if it comes to the crypto community, man, you made 20% profit yesterday on your DAW coins. Thank you TikTok for pumping Dogecoin uh, up with 20%. They are doing some kind of viral video that everybody needs to buy Dogecoin. And if they buy Dogecoin, then you know we will buy it up to one dollar. So everybody then will make 10k in revenue if they step in now with five US dollar. This went viral on TikTok. This made the price of Dogecoin go up with 20%. So guys, all you Dogecoin millionaires, I also still have a million Dogecoins. Please give 10% of that 20% you made yesterday as a donation and even these 10% can feed thousands of people here on the island last Monday over 300 bags with filled with food were given to the people that were struck hardest in, on the island the pregnant the disabled the, the you know the homeless children the elderly people all these that really needed at the moment because there are not enough donations to help everybody at the moment they are now targeting only the people that are most in pain guys that most need all these donations 
And that is these elderly women, that is the disabled, that is the small children, these are the homeless, that is the, 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 the pregnant women. All these people are being helped. So over 300 bags were distributed last Monday and next Monday we need to distribute a little bit more bags again so we could really use the help. So all you Dogecoin millionaires, show me a small token of sharing is caring and share a little bit of your 20% profit yesterday with these poor people here in Copagan. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, but also thank you from Happy Food and thank you from all these people here on the island that really need it at the moment. Okay guys, that was the emotional part. There is another emotional part in this video. Well, I will keep that one till the end. And it's not all emotional, it's also happy. But um, I will keep it till the end. Now we are going to talk a little bit about Bitcoin, guys, because you deserved it. You deserved it now. Why? Because you listened to this 10 minute preach of me of how to help these people here in Copagan. I think now you deserve to talk about Bitcoin as well. I'm going to show you an amazing chart again. If you look at the Bitcoin hash rate, guys, we made a new all time high. This is almost unbelievable because a lot of people were uh, expecting a death spiral. You know, they were like, oh, the miners are going to collapse because of the fees. It's going to be a death spiral and all the miners will be shut down and the hash will, will drop and it will kill Bitcoin and go to zero. That is what the media tried to tell us. That is what a lot of people try to tell, uh, tell us. But now here on this day, yesterday, we already created a new all time high in the hash rate. This is very positive, a new all-time high. I think we are now at 124 exa hashes per second. That's a lot of mining power, guys. That is huge. This is showing strength. This is not showing a dead spiral up to zero. This is showing, wow, we could start a new, another bull run up to like 100,000 US dollar. The reason why we saw this new all-time high, guys, is probably because of the Chinese rain season and the new ASICs being installed. Why the Chinese new rain season? Because a lot of these mining businesses in China are hydroelectric driven mining companies, which means they use the power of water. And because of the rain season now, there is so much water, there's floods of water that drives the electricity price down. And because the electricity price is going down, more and more miners are incentivized to put on their mining systems again. Because if the price of mining bitcoins by dropping electricity rates will become lucrative again, these miners will switch on the machines. Because it's cheaper now to mine bitcoins and it's easier to make profit. So that is one of the reasons. Second reason, guys, is these new ASICs that have, that have been delivered in the last couple of months. Of course, they are all planning how to install these, how to replace the old ones. This whole process of exchanging the old mining rigs with the new ones is now taking place as well. So these new ASICs, of course, are outperforming the old ASICs, which means they create a higher hash rate, which then, of course, could lead into this new all-time high as well. So these two factors are probably the reason why we are seeing a new all-time hash rate high in Bitcoin. I shared a lot of charts with you in the last couple of videos, guys, and one chart you can still remember where this huge red trend line is going down. This is the multi-year trend line I've been talking about many times, the one that makes us think that we need to break 10,500 to break this trend line, and from then make a new upward trend line from there. Yes, this trend line now, this trend line I've been referring to as the multi-year resistance trend line. Last week on Monday, I told you guys, we need to close this monthly candle above 9,300 to break this multi-year trend line and then go up from there. We didn't break this trend line at that point if we look at the monthly candles, but there's another chart that popped on my screen today and that one is showing something different. So I wanna share this chart with you guys as well. Let's take a look at this chart. Pow, this one, yes. So this chart guys shows us that if we, if we convert the candlestick chart into a line chart, it's more clear and easy to see if we did break or not break this multi-year trend line. And if you zoom into the chart now, you can see that if we use the line chart, we can see we did break this multi-year resistance trend line. We went through it, we even retested it. And maybe we're going to reset it, test it again before we take this trend line of support and go up from here. So that could mean that this breakout from this trend line now is forming the base of a new huge triangle that we are going to form. If you look to the left on the chart, you can see that this happened before as well. You can see the bottom 
of the breakout and then you can see how this how we peaked and now how we are forming this triangle so this triangle is coming to an end and yes if you look at the line chart we broke out already and we retested already so if we would say that this would be the base of the new triangle then the breakout should be as big as the width of the beginning of the triangle and if we take the width of the beginning of this huge triangle and put it on the breakout moment we are seeing now we could see a bitcoin price of 100,000 US dollar at the end of this next bull run so that would put us at 100,000 US dollar in the next peak of this bull run that is a really cool fact i didn't look at this and at this line chart yet before so now that i saw this one man we maybe are already in this bull run guys because we broke out and we retested this line let me know what you think do you think that we already broke out of this multi-year trend line this multi-year resistance line line and we are retesting it now to go up from here and make a new upward trend line or do you think, nah, Didi, that's not correct. We are still in this huge fight. We need to break the 10,500 resistance before we can talk about the real bull run. Nothing is for sure, of course, but at least I find it very interesting to look at these charts. So I hope you enjoy looking at these charts as well. Uh, some other news, guys. Yes, as I already said in my plea to donate, Bitcoin went up with 20%, guys. 20% just because all these TikTok people are making views about if you buy Dogecoin Live for $5 or 10 US dollars, we will pump the Dogecoin price because we have 800 million users on TikTok and we collectively will pump the Dogecoin up to $1 so that then you would have 10,000 US dollar instead of 10 US dollar. So this went viral on TikTok. Many people are still pushing Dogecoin. So that is why, we and that is also how you can see the power of the community. If a community works together, everything is possible. And of course, they refer to that Elon Musk wanted to be the new CEO of Dogecoin and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. The community showed that if we work together, we can do everything what we want. If we work together, we can even pump the Dogecoin price with 20% by just making viral TikToks. This is why social media is so important for this whole Bitcoin industry. Social media is an influence of the price if we do work together. Really cool to see that Dogecoin pumped. I still have some Dogecoins. Thank you TikTok for pumping this coin. The only thing TikTok I want to ask you guys is that maybe you already did it, but if you didn't do it, please stop using all the data from a clipboard and don't save this data anymore because that is not cool. Finally, we now have 20% increase in the Dogecoin price and then you just steal our private keys because we copied them into the clipboard. <laughs> I'm not saying TikTok would do this, but they can. And I would love to send, I would love them to stop using our data that we copy into a clipboard. And that not only TikTok, also LinkedIn and also all the other companies that already announced that they are going to stop using this data. Thank you, Apple, for this new update that brought this all to our attention because it's giving this alarm bell now when apps will have access to your clipboard another really cool news guys is i need to be honest i need to dig deeper into the project yet but now it is possible for all twitter users to send bitcoins to each other using taurus taurus made it possible to in a very simple way set up an ethereum wallet by just using like one click you just connect your Facebook or your LinkedIn or your Twitter or your Apple ID into Taurus and then like bam you have an Ethereum wallet it's like it's like one click and you have an Ethereum wallet and then now they said it's also possible if you have signed up to this Ethereum wallet by Taurus you can send cryptos to each other by using Twitter for example I still need to test it I already tried to set up this Taurus wallet with my Apple ID because then you can hide your email address, which is also really cool because it protects a little bit your privacy. And um, I still need to try it with uh, my Twitter account and to see if I can send some Bitcoins through Twitter. They started to announce this feature by sending some Ethereum to Vitalik, TZ, and some other famous crypto influencers um, and show them, okay, we just sent 0.1 Ethereum to you by using Twitter. There was no response yet of uh, Vitalik or any of the other people that received Ethereum to Twitter. But I will follow up with this story when I see some more news about it in the next couple of days, guys. Guys, that was all the info and that was the video for today. But before I leave you guys, 
I'm going to leave you with a little bit more sad news. It is not completely sad because it's also very happy news. Yesterday we booked our flights back to Europe. Why? Why Didi are you going to leave this beautiful island with this beautiful green scenery at the back and these white beaches and these blue, beautiful blue seas? Um, that's a difficult one to answer. For me and my wife, we could live here forever, but our kids need some social contacts at the moment. And as a family, we already we agreed on one thing when we started this whole adventure, is that we always listen to our kids. We want our kids to be happy. And the last like month, like 20 days, we saw our kids pulling back a little bit more inwards into the house because there are no children on the island anymore. They cannot play, they cannot socialize with other people. So it was a hard decision for me. It took me two days. Believe me, I was sitting there at the desk two days ago, the laptop in front of me. I saw the flights. I, I was able to book the flights, but I just, I just couldn't push this button. I just didn't want to leave. I was like, oh my God, I can't. I just can't push the button to, to book these flights. I put down my laptop. I went uh, into the sea to swim a little bit and I, I needed to rethink everything about what I was doing. And it took me another day to talk with my wife and everything. And Together we decided the best for the family now um, is to give them some social environment where they can socialize with their own age kids. So we decided to book flights into Europe of flying from Bangkok into Germany because you guess what, we were checking the flights and then exactly yesterday the cheapest flight was to Dusseldorf airport and that's like 20 minutes from my hometown. It was cheaper than Austria, it was cheaper than everywhere else in the world so we saw this as a sign that we need to visit our family in the Netherlands for a week or two. So we fly from Bangkok to Dusseldorf. We are going to visit our family, my brother, my sister, my nephews, my nieces. And we are going to visit Romain's father because he's still living in the Netherlands. And we, have, and we are probably are going to stay about two weeks in the Netherlands. Then from there we are going to fly to Spain. In Spain, Romain's mother is living, so we're going to stay there for two or three weeks and to do some cool barbecues and everything. Because my stepfather Claudio, he is doing the best barbecues and he always has the best limoncello in the house. So I'm going to enjoy some limoncello there um, in Spain with my grandparents. Uh, and then from there, the adventure is not definitive yet, but we have two options from the point that we leave Spain. One option, we are still negotiating at that moment, but that option is probably going to happen. There is a company that wants to sponsor us a camper van to continue the tour we were already making. So to continue drive around the world in a Bitcoin camper van with our family. This is one of the options. The other option is that we will continue as a backpacking family and that we will take our backpacks in Spain and we will start to travel the world with a backpack. So maybe from there we will fly to South America or we fly to North America or we fly to any other region where that is really safe now because of COVID. I'm going to keep you up to date about all of this because we do need to consider also lockdowns and all that stuff. I think it will be another really cool adventure. I will be able to show amazing places on the world again and make my videos daily on these new places instead of the same beaches here in Copangan every day. So that was a very long explanation Didi. So we are flying the 15th. We are going to take you on another adventure to Europe and show you maybe even my family, show you some beautiful spots in, in the Netherlands, Spain. And yes, we will definitely visit Austria, Switzerland, Bulgaria, Italy, Greece, Albania, Montenegro when we get the camper van because these places we didn't discover yet and we are going there to discover how crypto is accepted and if it is not accepted we are going to spread the word about crypto, blockchain and family life over there as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did enjoy please give the video a thumbs up share it with your community subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment i will end the video today again with you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in in life you need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living thank you for watching today and see you tomorrow again and please don't forget to do a small donation into the wallets because i will show you how we will distribute these donations to all these people here in Thailand. Bye.